In this video, we're going to talk about converting between moles and particles. In the previous lesson, we looked at converting between moles and grams. The process here is going to be similar, but the only difference is going to be the conversion factor. We're going to be using Avogadro's number, which is 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd. Remember, a mole contains 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd of whatever you're talking about. So we're talking about particles. In chemistry, the two that you're going to probably see most often are atoms and molecules, but you could also see ions. So let's look at some examples. In our first example, it says, how many sodium atoms are in 5.5 moles? All right. Well, we always start with what we're given. We're given 5.5 moles. All right, now we wanna know how many atoms we have. So we're going to convert this from moles to atoms. So in one mole, we have 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd atoms. So our units are gonna cancel, our moles are gonna cancel. So we're just left with atoms, which is the units that we want. So 5.5 times 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd will get us an answer of 3.311 times 10 to the 24th. We wanna make sure we retain this last part right here. So our original answer had two sig figs. So we wanna make sure that we have two sig figs in our final number. So Going from left to right, let's underline the first two significant digits and then look at the third. So are we gonna leave this as 3.3 or 3.4 times 10 to the 24th? Well, we're gonna go ahead and leave this as 3.3 because we can't round up times 10 to the 24th. And our units will be atoms. All right, so pretty much the same thing. We just want to be make sure we just want to make sure that we're using the conversion factor, Avogadro's number, 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd. Anytime we're converting between moles and particles. All right, here's another example. How many molecules are in 7.27 moles of sodium chloride? Always start with what we're given. 7.27 moles. And for every one mole, we have 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd atoms. But wait a minute. The question is not asking us about atoms. Is it asking us about particles? Is it the same number? Absolutely. So instead of it being atoms, it's going to be molecules this time. It doesn't matter what we're asking for. If it's molecules or atoms, we still use the same number. So we'll get 4.3765 times 10 to the 24th. Our original number had three significant digits. So we want three significant figures in our final answer. Going from left to right, let's underline the first three significant digits, and then let's look at the fourth. So will this be 4.37 or 4.38? In this case, we're going to go ahead and round up. 4.38 times 10 to the 24th. So our moles canceled and the units that we're gonna have are going to be molecules. All right, let's look at our final example. How many moles are in 7.5 times 10 to the 23rd atoms of calcium? So this one is different because we're starting with atoms and we want to convert to moles. So let's go ahead and write this out. Always start with your given 7.5 times 10 to the 23rd atoms. So our conversion factor is going to be a little different this time. It's actually just going to be flipped. So the atoms go on the bottom. Avogadro's number will go on the bottom. 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd atoms in one mole. 
When you enter this on your calculator, be careful. Make sure you're using parentheses. It can be a little tricky when you divide if you don't use parentheses. So my final answer will be 1.24587. Our original answer, be careful here, only had two significant figures. So going from left to right, we underline the first two significant digits and look at the third. So we are gonna leave this as 1.2 moles. Our atoms, our units of atoms are gonna cancel out. The 10 to the 23rd will cancel out. So the only thing we're gonna be left with here is the moles. All right, so a little bit easier because you're using the same conversion factor each time. You don't have to look up molar mass. In this case, we just use the same 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd.